Salute, 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 man. It's your boy Yolo Brim, man. You know my bop. You know, I was going to stop making these videos about a certain individual. But every time I look around, he's still talking. If you didn't have nothing to worry about and what everybody's saying about you is false, why are you trying so hard to spin it than just admit what you did? But enough about that, right? I want to tell y'all a little story because it like it never seems to stop. Some information fell on my lap. It fell on my lap. And it's not hard to believe because that person is a credible source, a very credible source. I want to tell you a little story. A little story about a gangster turned mouse. You feel me? And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about this, okay? Check this out. Homie had beef with another shorty. For some reason, this gangster is always beefing with women. Always. It never fails. It never fails. I haven't heard of I haven't heard of Maxi Pad getting it in, in, you know, shaking with any dudes. It's been all females. And at the end of this story. I guess we're going to know why he only beats with females, right? Let's play Swear to God. Let's play Swear to God, Waxy Maxi. Let's play Swear to God. He was beefing with some shorty. And once again, he ended up sending law enforcement to this shorty's house. Sent law enforcement... To the shorty's house. Now mind you. This ain't his ex. It's another shorty. So. He sent. Law enforcement. To shorty's crib. And shorty had a man. Or has a man. Who didn't like that very much. So let's just say. Let's just say. Wax got approached. He got approached. And he was copping a fifth. Let's play Swear to God, Wax. Swear on your children that never happened, Wax. Swear to everything you love that never happened, Wax. Because you're talking all this gangster shit. All this gangster shit. But you keep doing fuckboy shit behind closed doors. Now, I don't know what to believe. I don't believe... That the person you portray yourself to be on YouTube is all the way true. Because it's behind closed doors that you see a person's true colors. And so far, everything about you involves you contacting law enforcement or sending the boys to somebody's house. But when Shorty's man approached you, you was copping the fifth. Let's play swear to God, Wax. Swear to God, put that on your children that that never happened. Put it on your children. Because what you don't know is, right, when you contact the authorities, even if there's no police report done, there's an event number that's generated. There's an event number that's generated. And with that event number, all you got to do is pay $10 and get the details of that phone call. So if we get that event number, Wax, who you think that phone call had came from? Wax? I'm on that ass, boy. And that's only because you keep talking. Just shut up and humble yourself, my nigga. Stop trying to spin shit. You can't spin video of you in the courtroom. You can't spin video of several documentations with your signature on it. Not one, not two, not three, but four. If it was one, 
then yeah, we could have been like, yeah, that shit, you know, it slipped through the cracks. Somebody did that. But multiple with your same signature and your chicken scratch handwriting. When is enough enough? But like I said, I'm not even going to go into details like that. Just let's play, swear to God. I'll pop up on your live. And we can play, swear to God, if you want to. All I need is the invitation, bro. We all know you're not going to let that happen. Because the moment you do, I'm going to let everything out. Such a fucking gangster. But every story that involves you, every fucking decision you made involves you with law enforcement. And females. But when the dude approached you, you copped a fifth. That's why you stopped talking about shorty and stopped bashing on her. Because her man said, nigga, if you do this again, I'm going to wipe the floor with you. And, and, and big old bad wax put his head down and said, my fault, guy, it won't happen again. And I know your finger was itching, but it wasn't your trigger finger. It was the finger to grab a pen and paper and write what happened. But you knew that if you would have done that for that certain situation, ain't no coming back from that. Ain't no coming back from that at all. I told you, man, stop playing with me. I be seeing niggas in your chat. Talking about also, oh, YOLO's not this, YOLO's not that. Wax, speak up, my nigga. Tell them that Kuba showed you the screenshots and you already know what it is with me. You already seen the kennel and how close they are to you. Let's go. Let's play swear to God. Let's do it. I'm begging you. Let's play swear to God. Now, I want y'all to tune in later. Later, I'm going to put up a video. Right? Because Wax AP want to talk about El Compa beating women. I'm going to put up a video. Let's play Swear to God, Wax. Swear to God this never happened. Of homeboy Wax. Sitting down on a chair. Homegirl was letting him have it verbally. Because of his cheating. And he couldn't take it no more. So he got up off that chair. And charged shorty. Like if she was a whole dude. Let's play swear to God wax. Say that didn't happen bro. Matter of fact. You can't even say it didn't happen. Because I'm going to drop the video tonight. You fucking bozo. Tonight. I'm tired of your stories. I didn't go hard. I was giving you hints here and there so you could just shh and continue with your content. But the more you try to dig yourself out this hole, I'm going to come back with facts that's going to sit your ass right back down. Let's play swear to God, Wax. You have not been able to counter anything I said or put out there because you know it's facts. You know it's facts. But I'm going to continue to show you that this is chess, not checkers, my friend. I'm going to continue to show you until I switch it up and start playing backgammon with your ass. Anyway, these are all facts. My channel is going to be based off what these YouTubers don't want you to see. What they don't want you to know. What they don't want you to hear. But I'm going to dissect every last one of their videos. And show you all the chinks in their armor. So that way you can begin to see that they're not who they portray themselves to be. On this YouTube Hollywood digital bullshit. But like I said, Wax AP. Swear to God you ain't get run up on by Shorty's man and he parked your shit. Swear to God, you wasn't in the middle of live in, in, in the middle of a live that you kept the recording. The swear to God, 
and you didn't get up off that chair, that brown wooden chair, and you didn't get up and charge Shorty ready to smack the skin off her face. But yeah, you're on your platform talking about El Comp was a wife beater. So when I drop that video tonight, what are they going to say about you? What are they going to say about you? And I wonder if your cheerleaders, including the females, are going to cheer for you when they find out that you're only gangster when it comes to women. It's your boy YOLO, man. You know my bop. Fucking shout out Harlem, Oliver, China, salute to Platinum, the 050 Harlem Legend TV, hoodies up. Shout out to everybody who doesn't do dumb dickhead shit like your boy Maxi Pad.